Hello fellow dragons, it's your local dragon lady here and for a while I've been getting requests asking how do you play Chaos Max or can I do some sort of a tutorial using the Debbie Ritual Engine? What's the strategies? What are the win conditions? So I figured, hey, why not? Um, I'm pretty chill this evening, let's relax and let's do a few practice hands with my Chaos Max deck. Now the profile I'll be using, it's almost the same thing as my February profile. Almost the same thing. So we're going to do some test hands here, a few play scenarios, and Mr. Dice here is going to be the opponent. Basically, um, I'm going to roll a dice. If it lands on a 1, 2, or 3, it's going to be Ash Blossomed. And if it's the other numbers, it has not been Ash Blossomed. So let's give this a go. So for anyone who's seen my previous deck profile of Chaos Max Dragon, I have numerous win conditions built into the deck. The primary purpose of the deck is to get Chaos Max out as fast as you can and have him run wild. But the win conditions involve using Creature Swap, Mystic Box, and Packet Swap. Now I don't have Packet Swap incorporated in this deck, but you can if you like. Another win condition involves the Borg the Mega Monarch, which basically zaps your opponent's extra deck, and you can use your extra deck in return to pop monsters or cards on their side of the field and do more searching in your own deck. And the third win condition involves the Chaos Dragon which is not a win condition that happens very often because where everyone plays Link Monsters so using his effect to turn everything into their opposite battle positions eh, not that common so first of all I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle a deck uh, I'm gonna do a super shuffle so we can fast forward through this okay good and shuffled Okay, and we give our opponents, so they're going to do a cut. Okay, now, it's conventional wisdom with Chaos Max that you go second, you know, depending on what your opponent's playing, of course. If you're going blind, then yes, go second, because he always performs better that way. So let's draw five cards. So we have a Blue Eyes, Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon, Creature Swap, ooh, Advanced Ritual Art, and Pop Extravagance. This this, this has the workings of an OTK already, but uh, we want the Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon for that and a Debbie Ritual. So, of course, we will be going second. So, here's our first draw. All right. This is quite good so far. So, what I would do here is I would first play the Bingo Machine Go, uh, primarily to bait out an Ash Blossom. So we're going to use Mr. Dice here. So I'll activate it. The dice, okay, so it was one, two, or three. It's going to be Ashed. And it has been Ashed, so we're not going to get the search, which is good because that's my primary function for Bingo Machine Go. It's bait with benefits. So fortunately it was Ashed. So next we're going to play the Pot of Extravagance. So, you know, shuffle, be a good sport. Let your opponents choose the six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so they're going to banish. So we're going to draw two cards. Ooh, Chaos Max. And the Borg. Oh, what a shame. If we had some Debbie Rituals here, oh my goodness. This would have been amazing. But we do not. So in this play, what we would do is we would activate the advanced, go through our deck, Blue Eyes as a tribute, and get out the Chaos Max Dragon. So basically, we're going to assume that they have some monsters on their field, and we will try to attack, and we pass it to them. So let's assume that they do their moves. Uh, they're not able to give her Chaos Max, so they pass the turn to us. So we're going to go again, and oh wow, <laughs> Mystic Box, hmm. It's a shame that we're not able to get anything else that otherwise it would be an OTK. So in this scenario, well, we will try to attack with the Chaos Max, depending on what they have. And assuming he lives through the next turn, 
Ha ha ha. We have a Debbie ritual. Now, the candle needs us to reveal a ritual magic card. However, we don't have one in our hand, but in the scenario, we don't really need it because he's a level four, which means we can normal summon him without any cost. So right now we have the win condition, providing they can't prevent it. So what I would do is I'll lay him down in face down defense position, and you can play either one. You can play your missive box or your creature swap. You give them the Debbie ritual and you attack for game. So there you go. That's the gist of how this deck works for the OTK win condition. Uh, unfortunately, we could not use the Zabor with the Mega Monarch, but that's okay. That's another win condition that don't come up as often, but that's how it works. So let's go deeper into how this deck works. So let's give this another shuffle. Let's do a quicker shuffle here now. Okay, that shuffle's pretty good, so our opponent is going to give it a cut. Okay, so once again, let's go first this time. Let's say our opponent now knows what we're playing with. So you're playing Chaos and Max, you go best going second, but guess what? I'm making you go first, which has happened. Uh, as common knowledge now that I play this deck, so some most people try to make me go first. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Five. Ooh. Okay. So right off the bat, we can definitely get Chaos Max out. However, we got Bingo Machine Go. They could have an Ash Blossom. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to activate Bingo Machine Go. So does it get ashed? Let's see. It does get ashed. So we don't get the search. But that's okay, we baited it out, so now we can run wild. Okay, so this is a great example of how the Debbie Ritual Incantation System works. It's all about revealing a card in your hand, search the deck, and then use that effect to search again at the hand. So, the candle says you can reveal one Ritual Magic card, or spell if you want to be literal, and we have that. The talisman needs you to reveal the ritual monster, and the pencil plume says you need the ritual monster as well. So we can still make this work. So I'm going to show my opponent that I have a ritual magic card in my hand. So I can special summon the candle to the field. Now, once they're special summoned from your hand, its effect allows you to special summon another incantation from your deck to field. So we are going to do that, but it has to be a different name. You cannot special summon another candle if that's what you're summoning. So we're going to search our deck for the talisman. It's a different name, but once it's special summoned from the deck, which we're doing, a secondary effect allows you to search a ritual monster to add from deck to hand. So this is how the system works with any ritual deck. Doesn't have to be Chaos Max. Any ritual based deck, this will work in. So we're, we're not going back to our deck quite yet. So now I can ritual summon the Chaos Max Dragon. So activate the advanced ritual art, which allows you to go into your deck for a normal monster of the same level. Use that for the tribute. And out comes Chaos Max. Now, of course, <laughs> this is test playing, so. We're going to assume that our opponent has a few monsters out. We're going to shuffle. Do a quick cut. And okay, so basically, you know, something in defense doesn't matter. It will attack. So we're going to assume that we got rid of one of their monsters. So we're going to pass the turn to them. And this happens almost every single time. If your opponent is not able to get rid of the Chaos Max, which, you know, which is pretty common, he's 4,000 attack and he can't be targeted or destroyed. So usually they'll say, eh, I'm just going to kill these guys because I can. And trust me, this happens a lot because their effects are used up, they're free targets at this point. So we're going to go ahead, it's our turn, we're going to draw a card. Ooh, and it's a shame too because if those monsters had lived, we could have done a win condition right there with a board of the Mega Monarch. So if you want, we can rewind here. Let's assume that our opponent did not 
kill these guys. Let's say they had a, a real bad field, real bad hand, they're not able to do anything. Okay, so what we do here is we do a normal tribute. Tribute two of these monsters to normal summon Zaborg the Mega Monarch. Now, because the candle is a light monster, one of these are a light monster for the tribute, we can now use his effect to its full potential. So Zaborg's effect allows you to target itself to send itself to the graveyard. And because it's a level 8 monster, it means both your opponent and yourself must go through your extra deck and send 8 cards, as many as possible, 8 at the maximum, to the graveyard. But because we use a light monster in the Tribute Summon of Zaborg, you get to take their extra deck, go through it, and send 8 to the graveyard. That's why he's a strong win condition, because many decks, especially meta decks, heavily, heavily rely on the extra deck. So if you get rid of the right monsters, they're probably going to scoop and go to game two. But this is where our deck comes in. The cards you want to send to the graveyard is going to be obvious. You want to send three Elder Entity, the Tiss. When each one goes to the grave, you get to pop a card. So one, two, three, that's three pops. Pop, pop, pop. So let's say we got rid of two of their back row and other monsters, depending what's out. You want to send three Heralds of the Arc Light. This will give you three searches from your deck. So you can search for a ritual magic card or a monster. It doesn't matter which you want, but you get three. Send a Psy Flame Lord Omega. Basically, once you send to your graveyard, you can recycle, you can take him and one other card from the extra deck and send it back. So knowing we can do that, we can send, I don't know, Lancelot to the grave. So let's deal with the grave. Take the Omega and your Lancelot, and you can put them back. Or you can put back a Herald of Arcolite or an Atis. It is completely up to you in the situation. So we're going to get our three searches here. So these two require a Ritual Monster to get them going. So we want one of them to be a Ritual Monster for sure. Then we can go ahead and get a Ritual Magic. So we'll use a Chaos Swarm because we have a Blue Eyes in the Grave, so that's a guarantee. And, well, if you want to hedge your bets, you can add a Chal Slime in there because he can reveal himself and send to the Grave. Do a cut. And okay. And really, you can just Keep on going. So if you really want to, we activate the Chaos Form, which tells us we can banish to get Chaos Max out. And of course, this just might be game at this point, because I mean, again, we just zapped your opponent's extra deck. They're not going to have a lot to work with. They might have already scooped at this point, but look at this. Now we have two Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragons. <laughs> And if you wanted to go further, you know, if we did not cast Chaos Form, we could have revealed him, used the Debbie Ritual engine to get out possibly a third Chaos Max Dragon. So, yeah, 9 out of 10, this would be game. <laughs> so this was a perfect example of showing you how the Debbie Ritual engine works. These cards are amazing. Again, when it comes to the ratio, it's completely up to you. If you see my profiles, my ratio is three candles, three talismans, two pencils, and one book. But really, uh, play with the ratio yourself and find out what works for you. So that was two demonstrations. Let's go for a third one here and see what we get. Okay. So we did a scenario where we went second, we did a scenario where we went first. So let's see, will our opponent make it go first or second? Let's find out. So one, two, three will be us going first. And we are going second, according to our opponent. Okay, so let's do this again. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Ooh. This is a very tricky opening hand. However, 
if the Thinker Machine Go were to work. This is actually really good. So we are going second. So our first turn. Aha, excellent. So this guarantees us a Chaos Max Dragon because with a candle, we can reveal the ritual to get the Debbie Ritual engine going. But we have Bingo Machine Go and our opponent might have an Ash Blossom, so we're gonna use it. And let's find out if it gets ashed. It does not get ashed, all right, which is great. So now we can use Bingo Machine Go so the card I'm going to go after, obviously, is I'm going to search for three Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragons, which means one has to go to my hand no matter what. So, <laughs> okay. So now this has a lot of possibilities. So first thing we are going to do is we are going to reveal the spell. Okay. So we reveal advanced ritual art to special summon the candle from our hand. So because of special summon from our hand, we go to our deck for another one of a different name. And naturally we're going to pick a talisman and a talisman from deck to hand. So he tells us we can put a monster in. Okie dokie, nice hand so far. So we're going to activate the advanced. That is the tribute, and out he comes, which is really, really nice. Okay, so basically, we will go to our battle phase. So we don't know what our opponent has. So there's something in defense, something in attack mode, but most likely we'll end up killing one of their monsters. Maybe not all of them. So. We're going to assume we've done some damage to our opponent and we pass it to them. Uh, as always, uh, our opponent may not get around Chaos Max, so we're going to assume that they're going to kill these two because, once again, their effects have been used up and they're just there. So we are going to go ahead and go for our turn, cut the deck, draw a card. All right, we can definitely get another Chaos Max out here. So if you want, we can use a Debbie Ritual Engine again. We could reveal either or to get it going, or we can just play Chaos Form. So there's so many ways this can work. We can reveal the Chaos Form to get the candle out, go to deck. We could reveal the Chaos Max to, reveal, to special summon the pencil. Again, go from deck to field. We can activate Chaos Form to send this to the grave or banish the blue eyes that we already have in the grave to get them out. So this scenario, this hand, no matter what happens, you can get a blue eyes Chaos Max Dragon out. But of course, remember, not only can Bingo Machine Go be Ash Blossom, but these guys can be as well. So the good thing with this hand is this gives you multiple ways to get Chaos Max out if one of your moves gets Ash. So let's say we reveal the Chaos Form, the Special Summon, the Candle. Will it get Ashed? It does not. So we are safe with that. So we're going to use his effect to search from deck to field. We need a talisman. Okay, now the talisman goes from deck to hand. However, that can be ashed as well. So let's see what happens. It does not get ashed, okay. So we are going to get the monster. Let's go with the chaos dragon because we're going to assume that they have multiple monsters. Maybe a link monster or two. But we're going to assume they have multiple monsters. And this is where your second win condition can come into. Well, the third. We already demonstrated two of them. <laughs> so we're going to activate the Chaos Form. We are just going to banish the Blue with White Dragon this time instead of tributing from our hand. And okay. So this is the third win condition. So if they have multiple monsters in the field, we're going to go into battle phase, activate his effect that turns all their monsters 
that's an attack position into defense or from defense to attack. But it's the defense position ones that we care about because everything becomes zero. So he's going to do piercing damage no matter what for 3,000. But if there's another monster on their, their side of the field, their defense is zero, you attack for game. So that is how <laughs> this deck works. So we did the win condition with the creature swap. We did a win condition with the board with Mega Monarch. And we did a win condition with the Chaos Dragon. And of course, even if you don't get those win conditions, We've, had, we've been able to you know, summon, special summon the Chaos Max in many different ways to let him run havoc. So, yes. And of course I showed you in great detail how <laughs> the Debbie Ritual system works. So, yes, this is my Chaos Max deck in a nutshell. Uh, I hope for any of you who are building your own decks, uh, I hope this has showed you uh, the basics of how the dragon works. Uh, naturally, not every deck is going to be the same. Uh, that's why in my last deck profile, hmm, the April one, I think, I'm not sure, I mean, my month's mixed up, but at the end of that video, I do have a list of cards that you can add or swap out to uh, make the deck more uh, effective, I guess, if you like, if you want to change up the win conditions, the play style, but anyway, that's how this one works. And I hope it's been informative. So if you want to build your own Chaos Max deck, have fun. And remember to be a good sport. Play the game, not the fame. See ya! Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe and click on the little bell for notifications. You can also check me out on Facebook. Link is in the description below. Happy dueling!